welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimmy. I like to cover things related to Japanese beauty and skincare. Today, as you see in the title, I'm going to be talking about my experience going to a clinic in Japan and everything that I got done to my face in order to prep for my wedding that I had. Also, if you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos. I do try and put them out at least once a week, once every two weeks, not always consistent, but I am trying to be a little bit more on top of my game, so feel free to like and subscribe if you're interested. All right, so let's just get right into it. I did five different things at a clinic called X Clinic in Ebisu. So I did a Hydra Gentle Facial, a massage peel, which is like a chemical peel. I did Messina J, which is similar to like a radio frequency type of procedure. And then I also did RF microneedling and I did lip filler. So I will be talking about those next in the order that I did them as well as about the clinic. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about the consultation that I had. The clinic that I went to is called X Clinic and they were located in Ebisu in Japan, kind of in Tokyo. And they have also other clinics around the country, I believe, I think in Fukuoka and Osaka and some other places as well. But first what I did is I contacted them through Instagram and I set up a consultation, which was really easy. They're very flexible. It was a little difficult with the time change, but I was able to fit something in and it was about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And what I did was talk to one of the nurses and tell her what I was thinking of doing, um, what treatments I was interested in, and then also my timeline for when my wedding was, which was just a month. And based off of that, she had the doctor come in and talk to me on video and basically the doctor told me what she thought was you know, achievable or unachievable. And then during my trip to Japan, I went to the clinic and when I went back to the clinic, I had another consultation. So they had me do one more and I think that was more so just to recheck and follow up if everything that I was doing today was correct. I did change one or two things on there so they adjusted that but if you look at the clinic it's really really nice i was shocked when i walked in it was the nicest clinic i've ever been to and the clinics are not like that in the states everything was very clean big television the staff was very friendly there were some people sitting next to me that were completely covered i think they didn't want people to see if they had gotten something done or they just wanted to be incognito but i did hear that sometimes idols or even sometimes TV stars would go to the clinic as well, so I think that's why they're covered up just in case. But I was really impressed with the lobby, it looked really nice, so I was getting super, super excited, and they led me to their second consultation room, which was a private room, and you can see I'm just having fun with the camera, showing myself in the room, and I talked to the doctor again, she reassured me of all my questions and everything that I have, um, and that everything was going to be fine. So I was feeling really, really good to go, when I was at the clinic and I had, again, no reservations about anything. They seemed like they knew what they were doing and I felt like the price that I was paying as well would match the quality. So everything seemed good from that point. Um, I went back, I filled out some paperwork. I um, was able to then be led to a room, which was amazing. They put me in the VIP room, which I guess is for people that get a lot of stuff done in one day, which I thought was really funny because I never thought I'd be that person. The room was so nice. It was like a mini hotel room. And I took a video here of you have my chair that I'm gonna be getting all my treatments done in. And then you have a vanity area as well for you know after you get your procedures done, you can kind of freshen up, blow your hair, curl your hair. They had different lotions and sunscreens for me to use, headbands, clips. It was like the whole shebang. They had just everything there for me and then they also had a sitting area that i could watch tv at and it was a smart tv with netflix i was just blown away at the service and i don't know if all clinics are like this so let me know how your clinic experience was because mine was really top notch i feel like and they definitely got me so i definitely will be going back but maybe that was just all in their in their scheme that they had so once I was in the room, the nurse told me to wait a bit. She asked me if I wanted to go to the bathroom. There's a bathroom around the corner. And I just really waited and looked at some of the brochures and put something on Netflix or they had Spotify as well. So I played some music until the nurse came. And once she came in, she had me sit in the chair and that's where I kind of got started on all my procedures. So the first one is the Hydrogentle. And the Hydrogentle facial was 
kind of basically your hydrofacial. So the only difference that I looked up online was that the machines are different, the application and the way they do everything is pretty much the same, but it's a different machine and then the type of medicine or I guess, um, what would you call it, serums I guess that they use within the machine or more for Japanese skin. I'm not really sure what that means, but there's not a huge difference, but it's really meant to kind of hydrate the skin, like have a gentle exfoliation and just improve the overall balance of your skin as well. For the Hydra Gentle, I did take some videos. You can kind of see where she's going over my face and it felt like kind of almost like you're getting microdermabrasion for those who have gotten that before. And she did show me how much gunk afterwards was in my the container that sometimes they show you after they suck out all of your pores and all the dirt. So that was interesting as well. And yeah, I felt refreshed and good to go. So that was the first one that I did. The second one that I did was called Massage Peel. And I was doing a little bit more research and the Massage Peel is also known as the PRXT Peel or also known, I believe, as the Bio... Re bio revitalization peel as well and so they call it the peel that doesn't peel so it's a chemical peel it's pretty strong and when it was on my face it was really tingly as well and they left it on I don't remember the exact time but they left it on for a while and my face did get pretty tingly and hot and it felt like a chemical peel a strong chemical peel for those who have had ones before and the peeling agent will also help leave your skin clean as if it has undergone laser treatment so after this my skin was very smooth i would say and yeah i didn't have any problems with the peel but that's the one that i did was massage peel so the next one after the massage peel was messina j and messina j i couldn't really find an equivalent to that in the u.s I believe it's specifically a Japan-made uh, device, which is why there's the J after after it. But what I did find online that might help is that Messina J is a specialized transdermal delivery device developed for medical institutions in Japan. It reminds me of radio frequency, and I think it is type a type of radio frequency device. Um, but they use electrical pulses to create temporary gaps in the cell membrane and allow effective delivery of certain ingredients that normally don't penetrate the skin when applied topically. So usually the facial is pink, and it's called sometimes the pink facial in Japan, or the pink something, the pink peel, it's not really a peel, but mine was white, so she applied this kind of, it felt like a, almost like a slime paste over my skin, and it was very cooling, it felt really comfortable, and she used kind of like a little pen device and would just circle around my face and yeah it felt it felt great i almost didn't i didn't feel anything it wasn't painful at all between the hydra gentle the massage peel and the messina j the massage peel was the one that left my skin pretty tingly so it was really nice to have the messina j peel right after that and then after that my skin felt really great and i felt like it was a bit brighter and firmer and more plump obviously because i had so much done but i didn't feel irritated at all and obviously if you did feel irritation you would tell the nurse but she was very very nice and really gentle on my skin and always checked in with me to make sure that i was feeling okay and that everything was going great so i had a really great experience with those the next one that i did was the rf microneedling which you can obviously get here in the US and so I had her do a round of that over my face and um, yeah I really wanted to do the RF microneedling because I do have a, some acne scarring on here here and here and I've been trying to slowly get rid of them over the years uh, they're pretty semi deep scars that I've you know was picking up my skin in high school so I've been trying to get rid of those and so I wanted to do that Plus, I know the RF microneedling sort of has a lifting, tightening effect on the skin. So we did the one on me that is going to basically tighten the skin the most. So I think the level was maybe a little bit stronger than most. But she went over my face and yeah, it didn't really hurt. She applied a numbing cream in the beginning and did a part of my neck as well. I will say that around my collarbone, or not my collarbone, my jawbone area like towards the back here i don't know if it's because the bones there but i could feel the needles a little bit more 
And for those that don't really know what RF microneedling is, it looks almost like a little gun with little needles that come in and out and they penetrate your skin. And the depth is really, really shallow, so you almost don't feel anything. But they do release, I believe, the radio frequency, and that helps sort of tighten the skin as well. So I did want to try that, and I tried it in Japan, and I think I would go back and do it again. I feel like it really helped lift uh, or have a look like it has a lifting effect on my face and my skin afterwards was just really really smooth and I didn't feel like I had any complications with it at all. So the very last thing that I did was lip filler and for that one the nurse stepped out of the room and they had the doctor come in. Um, I didn't film any of the lip filler because I was so nervous for it. Um, I just, yeah, I was just, the area on your lips is so delicate, I didn't know what to expect, and I don't have any friends that have had lip filler before, so I was really, really nervous, and I just, I couldn't film. There was no way I was able to film, but what she did do was give me numbing cream, and then they also had me put ice, an ice pack on my lips as well to sort of help the numbing. I know in the US sometimes they use that vibration device. I don't believe she used that on me, but what I told her for my lips was that for my wedding, I just wanted them to be a little bit more plump and very natural. And the reason why I decided to do lip filler in Japan and not in the US was just because I feel like my face is Asian, I'm Japanese, and in Japan, the influencer big lips is not something that's very popular. A lot of people like it very subtly done and almost as if you can't even tell they had lip filler. And that's what I wanted. And so I got the lip filler done and I'm super happy with the results. I don't think any of my friends or family really noticed. I had one friend notice, um, but she knows my face very well. My family did not notice at all. I had to show them before and after pictures so they would believe me that I got lip filler done, but for me, that was enough. Um, and so what she did is she put in here towards the bottom and then on the sides here on my bottom lip. And I wouldn't say it was that painful, but the type of pain was not my favorite, but I did really like the outcome. I'll put pictures of what I looked like on my second day, I believe, or the first night. My lips were really swollen. And by day two in the afternoon, they already had gone down maybe even half. So this is day two um, in the afternoon. And then by the third day, I was pretty much good to go. And so, yeah, so that was my lip filler experience. Then after that, they asked me if I needed to use the bathroom and I had a couple minutes to just sort of freshen up and take my time. They were not worried, of, they were not pushy about brushing me out of the office at all, which I really liked. And I was really sad to leave because I think being in that environment was bad, almost in a way because it makes you want to try all these different procedures because you're in this nice VIP room, it's private, you don't see anyone else. I didn't see anyone, any other patients except for towards the lobby area. I didn't feel at all uncomfortable about what I was getting. Everyone was able to a answer questions as well. And a lot of the nurses have gotten procedures done. So I asked my nurse, you know, which one she liked and what procedures that she had had done. And she was really friendly about answering those for me. And again, I was doing this all in Japanese, so you would have to hire a translator. And my nurse said that some people do have translators come with them to the clinic. I don't know too much about translator information, so I might have to look that up if anyone's curious about going to this specific clinic. I might be able to help translate. I know if you speak Chinese, some of the staff are Chinese as well, so you might be able to get by with just speaking Chinese. So next, I will talk about the costs of everything. And when you, I went to the clinic, I specifically was going because also the yen at the time was really weak and I felt like I was going to get a pretty good deal with doing all those five procedures um, compared to if I was doing them here. So I have a dermatologist here and I have their menu that I am going to kind of sample off from of their prices and also from online and see and compare the difference. So in Japan, my hydrogental was... 11,800 yen. My massage peel was 11,800 yen. My Mesona J special was 24,800 yen. My RF microneedling was 68,000 yen and my lip filler with also lip filler execution cost was about 89,800 89, yen. 
So that was totaling to about 206,200 yen. And at the time with the conversion rate, my the amount of dollars I spent, if we converted that, was $1,300 for those five procedures. And in the US, I'm looking at prices for my dermatologist as well as prices online for the ones that I couldn't really, that my dermatologist didn't offer. So I'm looking at the US prices for hydrofacial, my dermatologist, her basic level hydrofacial is $200. My, um, for the massage peel, PRXT peel, that one averaged, I looked online, was averaging about 250 to 275. So we'll just say 250, I'll take the lower one. The Messina J, one, I could not find it anywhere online except for one place in Hawaii that said they offered it and theirs was at 270 for one time. And then next I have RF microneedling. Um, and my dermatologist offers it around 550 and then I've seen somewhere online that someone did it for 850 for one pass. So we'll take the we'll use the 550 as an example. And then for lip filler, um, I've been to a medical spa near my house and I was looking on their Instagram for what their rates for lip filler were and I saw online that they were doing $400 for half a syringe and then you would get the other half, I think, $50 off. Um, so I'm going to put that as one syringe is at $750 and I was charged for one syringe that they use and I don't know if they use the whole syringe on me but I was charged for one syringe so if I were to pay in the US for all of these for all of the five things that I wanted to have done with the cost that I had just talked about it would have been about $2,020 compared to when I went to Japan although I did pay for a flight and everything but if I'm just thinking solely about the procedures I got done at the clinic and converted it to dollars it would be $1,300 so I feel like I got a pretty good deal um, in Japan and I thought the quality and the service was excellent. I thought they took their time with everything and the fact that I had my own private room was really, really nice. So maybe if you decide to go to X Clinic, then do just a lot in one day and you might get to experience what I got to experience as well. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about how my skin was after doing all the procedures. Um, the first month, I would say my skin was so good it was so smooth i've never had my skin be so smooth probably since i was a baby it was just i was shocked at how great everything was and i didn't have any breakouts which is pretty rare sometimes i've done microdermabrasion and i get breakouts all over my chin or i don't know if it's whatever they use on me during that time but i had no breakouts which was so great and then yeah for my wedding my makeup went on fine my face I felt like looked really great, my lips look great, um, and I don't regret doing anything at all. So I'll put pictures of what I look like at my wedding with my makeup, and this is with no filters, it's just great natural lighting. Um, and so I was really, really happy with the results. And I think if I had the opportunity to go back, maybe even in the winter or next year, I probably will make a stop at X Clinic and just maybe do some more facials. All right, so that is the end of my clinic video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Feel free to like and subscribe for more videos, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can use it as a resource. If you decide to go to X Clinic, let me know if you do, leave something in the comments and let me know how your experience was. But yeah, that's all for now and see you guys in the next video. Bye.